Hi children. Uh, today we are uh, entering into a very new topic, the new unit, current electricity. And uh, so far, for the past one month, we were dealing with electrostatics. Okay, where you have studied the various properties of uh, charges at rest electrostatics charges static electricity charges which are at rest okay but in day-to-day -day life most of the practical applications of electricity involves charges in motion okay for example take bulb fan tv mixi grinder washing machine refrigerator motor name any electrical appliance okay they work only when the charges flow through it okay this flowing charges constitute electric current this flowing charges constitute electric current okay therefore the branch of electricity the branch of physics which deals with the study of charges in motion is called as current electricity okay now we're going to see a new term what is called current carriers current carriers what are is it clear now what is a current carriers so what are current carriers the charged particles very important see the charged particles whose flow in a definite direction constitutes, constitutes the electric current. See, what is that? The charged particles whose flow in a particular direction gives rise to electric current are called as charge carriers or current carriers. Okay, they are called current carriers. So, their motion in a particular direction, the particles, the charged particles whose motion in a particular direction gives rise to current, means then they are called as current carriers, okay. So, example, so current carriers, for example, number one is, um, in solids, current carrier, see, current carriers in solids. Uh, number one is, what is that, conductors, good conductors, what is that, which are, Solids, metal, if you see, in the case of metal. Okay. Metals, the current carriers are nothing but already because of valence electrons. You know that the valence electrons are actually, what is it, they are not uh, very much attached to the individual atom, a particular atom. Okay. They jump from one atom to another. Therefore, they are called as free electrons now. So, these valence electrons are completely free. They can move anywhere within the, throughout the volume of the conductor. And these free electrons, metals, what is that? Valence electrons. That is free electrons. Correct? Yeah? They are the charge carriers or current carriers. Okay? They are uh, they are they are not, in the case of metals the free electrons are current carriers right okay and the, the scale in the case of in solids semiconductors are there no in the case of semi semiconductors in the case of semiconductors okay uh, you have uh, what is that semiconductors there are uh, two types. The current carriers are negatively charged electrons and positively charged holes. Positively charged holes, which we will study later in our uh, later chapters. Okay, so just you have an idea: negatively charged electrons and positively charged holes. I think you would have studied uh, about these holes in your 11th chemistry. Okay. Right. Anyhow. Next one is uh, in insulators. Yeah, everything we are dealing with one is in solids. Solids. First one is A. Metal. And B. 
semiconductor and C is insulators. In the case of insulators, very important. Insul See, semiconductors example, I think, what is that? Silicon. Metal example, anything you can, you know, okay. What is but in semiconductors means you can very uh, common is silicon, okay, and uh, germanium. Uh, these are all uh, so very uh, common examples of semiconductors, right? Then insulators. Insulators, you know, glass, okay, ebonite, rubber, whatever you name, okay. There are here no, no current or charge carriers. I think current carriers, charge carriers, you can name it like that, okay. So, insulators, there is no uh, current carriers or charge carriers. Is it clear? So, solids. Metal, semiconductor and insulators. We have seen. The next one is in liquids. In liquids, if you see, okay, uh, you can uh, see, I think you have a uh, NaCl, HCl, okay, and uh, you can say copper sulfate, whatever, okay, solution, if you take copper sulfate solutions therefore the current carriers are once solution means what is that that will be uh, it dissociates immediately when the salt is added to the water water then you will get uh, um, uh, what is that ions it will be dissociated into ions that is for example this one it is Na plus and Cl minus H plus and Cl minus and copper and S4 for minus therefore these are ions this is a positively charged this is a positively charged ion and this is a negatively charged ions okay therefore so what is that these ions are okay such liquids okay therefore uh, what in, in such liquids na plus is a positive and negatively charged ions are current carriers ions are current carriers are you following therefore mm, uh, the here they are for this NaCl solution is what is called electrolyte and these are called ions positive and negatively charged ions they act as current carriers okay so uh, this is about uh, when you are applying an electric field Na plus both will move in a particular direction Na plus Na plus will move in one direction Cl minus will be moving in the other direction thereby constituting current okay therefore next one third one third one is in uh, gases very important in gases see normal conditions at normal condition gases actually they are insulators why the actually they don't have any what is that current carriers or charge carriers at normal conditions okay so, the gases, they are insulators at normal conditions. But, when the gas, see here, there are special conditions. What are special conditions? See, uh, you can ionize the gases. You can ionize the gas. Ionizing, I think you know what is ionization. That is, what is a knocking off electron from the atom. If you knock out the electrons from the atom, some of electrons from the atom, one or two, whatever is that. Then what happens? The atom becomes a positively charged ion. Okay. And that will be knocked out electrons will be there. So now the atom gets ionized. Okay. Like that, the gases can also be ionized by applying very high potential difference. A very high potential difference at low pressures. Okay. So what is that? Gases. You can, uh, what is that? Gases can be ionized. Can be ion At normal condition, they are insulators. But they can be ionized, okay, when by applying high uh, potential difference. Very high potential differences. Potential difference. Not only that. Okay, at low pressure at low pressure okay by that is number one by applying hyper that is okay this is one way of ionizing the gas another 
1 by number 2 is by exposing them to high energy radiations that is to x-rays. Okay. Therefore, if you do like that, what will happen? Okay. It will, you can get current carriers for electrons and possibly charge ions. Because the electrons will be knocked out. Therefore, you will be getting so many electrons as well as possibly charge ions. So, what will happen? They are now acting as current carriers. Are you following? So, these are all um, the current carriers in solids, liquids and gases. Okay. Right. Now, the next topic now is. Uh, we are going to see what is called electromotive force. Okay. So, what is that? Electromotive force. Force. What is that? Electromotive force. Or it is also, what is that, EMF. See, what is it? Now we are going to see. See, the current is possible in an electric circuit. Okay. In an electric circuit. Only when. Okay. There should be some external source. Should be there. And that external source should, what it will do? It, it compels that source, external force. There should be a source of external force, you can say. There should be some source of external force which compels the current carriers to move in a definite direction. To move in a definite direction. Here, definite direction is very important. Why? Because, see, in, in the case of, um, even in the case of metals, you know, they have large number of free electrons and all the free electrons are actually not uh, uh, at rest. They are continuously, they are moving in different, randomly in different, different directions. They are moving randomly. But we won't, the, here also charges are in motion but they are not in a, moving in a particular direction. Only when, that is why I told you in the case of current carriers. What are current carriers? They are charged particles, the flow, uh, whose flow in a particular Direction in a definite direction constitute electric current. Okay. Therefore, what so now the question is how to make the charges to uh, uh, move in a particular direction. Okay. Only then you will get a current. Is it clear? Therefore, the electric current is possible in a closed circuit. Okay. If there is a source of external force source of external force which compels the current carriers to move in a definite direction okay therefore this external force which makes the current carriers to move in a particular direction is what is called electromotive force electromotive force okay but actually speaking Electromotive force EMF is there now. EMF is not a force. It is called as force. Why? Because it compels. It compels the charge carriers to move in a particular direction. It push, pushes the uh, charge carriers to move in a particular direction. If the electrons are free to move, it is pushing the electrons, all the electrons to move from, uh, what is that? Lower potential to higher potential. If the ions, positive charge ions are free to move. The positive charges are free to move. Then it pushes the positive charges from higher potential to lower potential. Are you following? So, but that should be a particular direction the charges should move. For that, what is that? There is some force. Okay, it pushing, pushing the charges. So, that is what is called, what is the electromotive force? Fine, but actually speaking, EMF is not a force, but what is, it is nothing but, it is a, a special case of, 
potential difference. Are you following? It is nothing but EMF. You cannot say it is name is electromotive force. I told you force. Why? Because it compels the uh, uh, what is that? Uh, the charges to move in a particular direction. Current carriers to move in a particular direction. But actually, it is not a force. What is that then? It is a special case of potential difference. Okay. So, that is very, very important. Right. Therefore, now. Therefore, that uh, this EMF, the electromotive force, is actually associated with an arrangement or mechanism. Okay. Which supply energy. Which supply energy. Or which does some work to move the electric charges okay in a particular definite direction okay therefore this electromotive force is associated with some arrangement or mechanism some arrangement okay that that has to supply some energy that mechanism that what is that that has to supply some energy or it does some work okay to what is it compelled to move the electric charges okay in a particular in a definite direction okay such an arrangement is what is called source of emf such an arrangement is what is called source of emf are you following you know now what is emf okay emf what is that that is nothing but that is a uh, yeah, so source of extra it is nothing but source of external force is required in order to compel the charge carriers current carriers to move in a definite direction though it is not actually a force okay it is nothing but what is that special case of potential difference right so and this emf is associated with the mechanism okay and which supplies some energy or which does some work to move the current carriers in a particular direction. Okay. And such arrangements are called source of EMF. Okay. Source of EMF means example for source of EMF. What are they? Cell. Battery. Okay. You can even say um, the generator. Okay, and a dynamo. Okay, all these are okay uh, called as say a source of EMF. Okay, they are nothing but they are suppliers, energy suppliers. They are doing some. They are ready to do some work to move the charges in a definite direction. Are you following? Therefore, now. I am going to define now what is the EMF of the cell. So, EMF is associated with the, what is that? Source of EMF, EMF is associated with only with the cell, battery, generator, dynamo, etc. They are called a source of EMF, okay? So, how can you define EMF of cell? What is the EMF of cell? EMF of a cell, okay? C, it is defined as, EMF of a cell is defined as the energy supplied or the work done by the cell, it is the energy supplied or work done by the cell. By the cell for what to move to drive okay a unit positive charge a unit positive charge once around a closed circuit once around a closed circuit very important see what is what do you mean by emf of a cell emf of a cell is nothing but the energy supplied they, they are nothing but seat of power okay the cell battery generator they are seat of power they are 
they are energy suppliers so how do you emf is associated only with these things that is cell battery generator or dynamo okay like that whichever supplies energy that's it okay therefore how to define emf of a cell or emf of a battery emf of a generator whatever is that emf of a cell is energy what is a, a su supplied or work done by the cell to drive a unit positive charge once around a closed circuit once around a closed circuit it is energy supplied or work done therefore work done means what is that emf emf is usually denoted by small e okay is nothing but work done or energy supplied okay to drive a unit positive charge f dot q unit positive charge na dot dl okay then once around the closed circuit okay therefore that is nothing but f by q is e na therefore you can say that it is e dot dl therefore are you following everything we have seen in electrostatics itself okay therefore this is from the definition it is energy supplied or work done by the cell to drive what is it to drive a unit positive charge work done per charge okay through a dl dl is a what is a small path okay uh, through the the circuit okay therefore once around a closed circuit how much amount if in order to move a unit positive charge once around a closed circuit how much energy should be supplied by the cell how much work has to be done by the cell that is the measure of the emf of the cell therefore you can say are you following therefore e that is equal to emf e that is equal to this is the electric field you know no electric field and dl it is a small path to travel a very small path e dot what is the work done um uh, in taking a unit positive charge through a very small distance is e dot dl but once around a closed circuit means this is um the integral over a closed circuit okay so this is um the definition for what is the emf of the cell okay now one more definition i want to give what is that see uh, cell i think you know what is a cell okay cell means positive and uh, it has a positive electrode and elect negative electrode it is positive and this is negative these things 10 standard unit of study and now that is a it is connected to a circuit okay the circuit has okay a, this you know very well it is a key okay and okay this is a conductor okay right now this is a wire okay now this is a copper wire and this is a key right now what i want is i want to give one more definition uh, for emf of the cell this is the first definition another definition is emf of the cell is defined as also okay emf of the cell is defined okay as now the maximum potential difference this is a cell correct huh? so positive it is it has a positive electrode and the negative electrode therefore there will be some potential difference between positive and negative electrode okay therefore see when uh, what is the emf of the cell it is defined as the maximum potential difference between the two electrodes of the cell between the two electrodes of the cell when no current is drawn from it it is only very very important see emf of the cell is defined as the maximum potential difference maximum potential difference between the two electrodes of the cell two electrodes of the cell okay 
when when okay no current is drawn from it important drawn from it what do you mean by no current is drawn from it okay uh, see now here in this circuit okay here i think this uh, what is the meaning of this key you know here dot in between it is there means it is a closed circuit it is a closed circuit when it is a closed circuit immediately current flows through it okay current will be flowing through this okay that is uh, in your 10th standard you would have studied anyhow i'll recall this one it is uh, current direction will be in this direction from positive electrode to negative electrode right but uh, when it is a open, it is a closed circuit. It is called closed circuit because key is closed. In a open circuit, what do you mean by open circuit here is you remove this. Okay. Therefore, this is what is called an open circuit. In the open circuit, there will not be any current. There will not be any current. Therefore, this is an open circuit. Here there is no current. Okay, when there is no current, in the case of when the circuit was closed, okay, the cell has to do some work. Why? Because it has to push the uh, electrons to move in a particular direction. All the electrons, they have to move from, in which direction it will be moving, electrons will be moving from positive side of the negative to positive. Therefore, it will be moving in the, electrons will be moving uh, from uh, lower potential to higher potential. So, for that, the cell has to supply some energy. Okay. But, when it is open circuit like this, okay, no work has to be done. No current is there because it is not doing any work because it is open circuit. So, okay. That the time, no current is drawn from the cell. That time, no current is drawn from the cell. Why? Because it is not doing any work. Okay. Now, in that case, therefore, that time, what is the potential difference? Maximum potential difference between the two electrodes of the cell when no current is drawn from it. Or, or, okay, what is that? Cell, or what is that? Cell is in the open circuit cell is in the open circuit okay that time the open circuit means what is that no current is drawn from the cell that time what is the potential difference between the electrodes of the cell that is what is called emf of the cell okay hope you are following children emf of the cell is defined as the maximum potential difference across the electrodes of the cell when no current is drawn from it or when the cell is in the open circuit. This is what is called open circuit. This is the open circuit. Why? Because what is that? A closed circuit means the current will be drawn. Open circuit means current won't be drawn from the cell. That time, what is the potential difference across the electrodes of the cell? That gives you automatically what is called the EMF of the cell. Therefore, now we have seen two definitions for EM of the cell. What is that? Number one, EM of the cell. It is the energy supplied or work done by the cell to push a unit positive charge once around a closed circuit. Number two is EM of the cell is defined as the maximum potential difference between the electrodes of the cell when no current is drawn from it. Is it clear? Therefore, these are, there are two, uh, what is that, uh, definitions you can say. You can define EMF in two ways, right. Now, next one. So, what is the unit of EMF? Of course, what is unit of EMF? It is nothing after all, it is a potential difference, na. Therefore, what is the unit of EMF? Yes, volt. Okay, or what is it? It is nothing but, that is, uh, uh, it is work done in moving a unit charge. Therefore, joule per coulomb. Joule per coulomb or it is volt. Are you following? So, this is the unit of EMF. That is why I told you EMF is not a force. It is a special case of potential 
difference. Okay. So, now uh, how to define now? When do you say, see, EMF of the cell. Uh, now you can say how to define 1 volt in terms of EMF. Define 1 volt. We have already defined electrostatics, right? Okay. Therefore, define 1 volt in terms of EMF, in terms of EMF of the cell. When EMF of the cell, EMF of the cell is said to be because you know EMF of the cell is nothing but, is nothing but work done divided by charge. Work done in moving a unit positive charge once around a closed circuit. Correct? Once around a closed circuit. Therefore, now EMF of the cell, when, what is that? It is nothing. EMF of the cell is said to be 1 volt. When W, work done, W that is equal to 1 joule, Q that is equal to 1 coulomb, okay, then E that is equal to 1 volt, correct? EMF, E that is equal to 1 volt, okay. Therefore, that gives you the definition for, uh, what is that, uh, 1 volt here. EMF of the cell is said to be 1 volt. When one joule of work is done or one joule of energy is supplied by the cell to drive one coulomb of charge plus one coulomb. Therefore, one coulomb of charge once around a closed circuit. Once around a closed circuit. Once around a closed circuit means what is it? Including the cell inside. Everything. By electron is moving means what is the electron will be? Moving once around a closed circuit. Okay. Therefore, including the cell, it has to complete one full, uh, what is that? Full circuit, closed circuit, like that. Okay. Therefore, now uh, how to define EMF of the cell? EMF of the cell, okay, uh, is said to be 1 volt. It is not EMF. We are not defining EMF of the cell. We are defining 1 volt. Okay, EMF of the cell is say, 1 volt with respect to EMF. Okay, therefore EMF of the cell is said to be 1 volt. Okay, when 1 joule of work is done or 1 joule of energy is supplied by the cell to drive 1 coulomb of unit positive charge, 1 coulomb of charge, 1 coulomb of charge. Okay, once around a closed circuit. Once around the closed circuit. That is what is called. Uh, here I have this. 1 volt. Okay. Right. Now with this. We will go to. Electric current. Now. Okay. Now we will go to what is electric current. Denoted by I. Everything 10th standard you have study. Okay. What is uh, electric current? See, the flowing charges are said to constitute electric current. Okay. If there is a flow of charge in a particular direction, definitely current will be there. Okay. Therefore, how to define electric current? Electric current is defined as the rate of flow of electric charge, rate of flow of electric charge, okay, in a definite direction through any cross section of the conductor, through any cross section of the conductor is what is called electric current. Electric current is defined as the rate of flow of charge, rate of flow of electric charge in a definite direction through any cross section of a conductor okay that is what is called electric current therefore electric current is nothing but i is nothing but okay total uh, you can say charge 
that is flown divided by what time taken total charge flown is okay total charge flown divided by time taken that is nothing but if q is a charge that is flowing for a time that is t so for i you can say that is q by t i that is nothing but q by t okay and if you want to represent in terms of derivative okay so for example if delta q if delta q is a net charge okay uh, flowing across a cross section of a conductor cross section of a conductor in a definite direction in a definite direction okay and during the time interval in a time Uh, between in time between t and t plus delta t <coughs> okay therefore at what time delta t t and t plus delta t then what is the current current i of t that is equal to okay limit delta t tends to 0 delta q by delta t delta q by delta t so i can express the current in terms of that is nothing but derivative dq by dt dq by dt therefore current through the conductor at any time at any instant at any instant is defined as the first derivative of the charge with respect to time okay passing through any cross section of the conductor in a particular in a definite direction okay therefore what is it once again i repeat what is the current current through a conductor at any instant is defined as the first derivative this is the first derivative now first derivative of charge with respect to time passing through any cross section of the conductor in a definite direction in a definite direction therefore is it clear so this is the you can express the current in terms of derivative q by dt okay this is, a, this is how you have to right therefore what is the unit of current Unit of current is ampere. <clears throat> okay, what is ampere current I that is equal to Q by T. Okay, therefore that implies Q. What is a unit for a unit of I? Uh, uh, what is a unit of I? Unit of current. Okay, that is enough. I that is equal to Q by T that is Coulomb per, per second. Coulomb per second that is if you want. Coulomb second. Okay. And that Coulomb per second that is nothing but coulomb per second is nothing but ampere nothing but ampere are you following therefore what is a uh, uh, how to define uh, ampere therefore define one ampere ampere or unit of current okay what is that if i that is equal to q by t when q that is equal to 1 coulomb t that is equal to 1 second 
then i that is equal to 1 coulomb per second that is equal to 1 ampere correct therefore how to define the current through the conductor is said to be 1 ampere okay if 1 coulomb of charge is flowing per second through any cross section of the conductor okay therefore what is that the current through the conductor is said to be 1 ampere okay if 1 coulomb of charge okay flows through any cross section of the conductor in 1 second even if through any cross section of the conductor in 1 second 1 coulomb of charge flows through any cross section of the conductor in 1 second then this is what is called ampere are you following okay therefore next one with this now we will go for the next topic is uh, okay what the next one is direction of current right very important see what is the direction of current now see these things you would have studied in your uh, 10th standard anyhow uh, uh, just uh, simple only see what you know it is nothing new for you anyhow see if there is a conductor kb okay i am connecting with a cell okay now you know very well see the electrons what see here the electrons here electrons in the conductor okay here it will be moving in this direction only now why because what is it is uh, uh this is connected to positive and this is connected to the negative of the battery therefore the electrons inside the conductor will be moving from in the direction b to a therefore electrons will be moving in this direction therefore okay a b is a conductor okay it is connected to a what is that a, a potential difference uh, battery okay therefore now what is the direction of the current there are now electronic current we can say that what is electronic current electronic current is okay the direction of motion of electron what is that it is therefore here direction of motion of electron is from that is what that is b a direction b to a direction is from what is that b to a because the electrons once it is connected to uh, what is that a battery that is here uh, some cell external uh, supply only then electrons will start move uh, moving in a particular direction before that the electrons will be randomly moving so once you are connecting it to a uh, uh, external supply uh, source that is emf of uh, um, that is a cell or battery what happens the electrons will be moving in a particular direction from where from lower potential to higher point this is a lower potential b is at lower potential why b is connected to negative a is connected to positive therefore electrons will be moving from B to A in the direction B A. Therefore, electron will be moving in this direction. Are you following? So, that is what that is the direction of electronic current. Okay. Therefore, electronic current is B to A. Right. That is from what is that? Lower potential to higher potential lower potential to higher potential that is the electronic current actually okay because that is the direction of motion of electron but in convention if you see okay usually uh, uh, normally water if water is flowing if it flows from high higher level to lower level okay and the temperature if you say body uh, the temperature flows from a body at a higher temperature to lower temperature the gas flows okay in a region 
from higher pressure to lower pressure are you following so so what to maintain this convention to maintain this convention we define what is called conventional current what is called conventional current okay so what do you see actually electronic current means direction of motion of electron why because normally in conductors electrons are only responsible for what is that current they are only moving see the ions are there but ions are very heavy they cannot move only electrons only will move that only constitute current okay so now electronic current there are see electronic current means that is nothing but the direction of motion of electron okay that is from b to a that is from lower potential to higher potential but usually normally whatever we take pressure means high pressure to lower pre high pressure that is a gas flows from high pressure to low pressure whatever is it high water flows from high level to lower level so to maintain that convention we are going to have what is called uh, uh, conventional current what is conventional current uh, conventional current will be the direction of conventional current is nothing but the direction of motion of positive charge if free to move here okay free to move what is that it is from that is from higher potential to lower potential It is from higher potential to lower potential. Okay, just to maintain. Okay, that uh, what is that? Uh, uh, the convention. What is that? Uh, uh, everything is from a higher value, higher pressure to lower pressure, higher level water flow from higher level to lower level, temperature from higher temperature body at higher temperature to lower temperature it flows. That is to maintain that convention. We are using conventional current. Conventional current direction of motion of positive charge. Okay. Uh, where if positive charge will move, move only from higher potential to lower potential. Only electrons flows from lower potential to higher potential. But positive charge means definitely if it is free to move, it moves only from higher potential to lower potential. Therefore, your conventional current direction, electronic current is, what is that you can say here? Conventional current. Will be in this direction. But electronic current will be in the opposite direction. Conventional current and electronic currents are in opposite direction. Okay. Therefore, the electric current okay now we what we want to which uh, convention we are going to use we which direction we are going to use we are going to use only the conventional current direction of current means okay it is from what is that higher potential to lower potential that is positive end to the negative end okay of the closed circuit only what is that conventional current that only we are going to follow as the direction of current okay the next one is see uh, what whether it is a scalar quantity or vector quantity current current is a scalar quantity current is a scalar quantity Though it has some direction, everything we have, we have seen. But current actually it is a scalar quantity. Why? For example, see, I have one current that is, this is the current I. Okay. And here it is branching into like this. I1, I2. Okay. And next one, it is same current. Okay. It is... It is going like this and next one I current it goes I1 okay and 
ఐపు ఇవన్నీ డబ్ల్యూ అంటారు ఐపు ఓకే వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇస్ ద కేస్ ఓకే దిస్ ఇస్ ఐపు ఓకే ఇట్ ఇస్ ద కరెంట్ హియర్ ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ వైట్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద కరెంట్ దిస్ ఇస్ డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు టూ ఓకే హియర్ త్రూ వాట్ ఇస్ దాట్ యూ కెన్ సే ఓబిసి ఓఏ కరెంట్ ఇస్ ఐ ఇట్ ఈస్ బ్రాంచింగ్ ఇన్ టు టూ త్రూ ఏబి అండ్ బిసి సో ఓ ఏబిసి ఓ ఏబిసి ఓకే అండ్ ఏబి అండ్ బిసి ఓకే ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ఏబి అండ్ బి ఏబి అండ్ ఏసి ఇస్ ఎమ్ మెటీరియల్ ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద వైర్స్ క్యారింగ్ ద కరెంట్ డస్ ఇంచ్ ఇస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు అఫెక్ట్ ద టోటల్ కరెంట్ ఇన్ ద సర్క్యూట్ ఓకే సో యాక్చువల్లీ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెక్టర్ క్వాంటిటీ మీన్స్ యాంగిల్ మ్యాటర్స్ ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద టూ ద టూ కరెంట్స్ ఇట్ మ్యాటర్స్ ఓకే బట్ హీ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ దో ఇన్ ఆల్ ద త్రీ కేసెస్ వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఐ ఐ టోటల్ కరెంట్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఐ వన్ ప్లస్ ఐ టూ ఐ వన్ ప్లస్ ఐ టూ ఓకే సో దట్ సేస్ దాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దాట్ ఈవెన్ దట్ ఈస్ ద కరెంట్ ఈస్ అ స్కేల్ ఆర్ క్వాంటిటీ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెక్టర్ క్వాంటిటీ మీన్స్ వెక్టర్ అడిషన్ కరెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ వీ హ్ టు ఫాలో ద వెక్టర్ అడిషన్ నాట్ నో వీ విత్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ కరెంట్ టోటల్ కరెంట్ ఇన్ ద సర్క్యూట్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈస్ అ బ్రాంచ్ త్రీ బ్రాంచెస్ ఫోర్ బ్రాంచెస్ లెట్ ఇట్ గో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎమ్ మెటీరియల్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ ఐ వన్ ప్లస్ ఐ టూ ప్లస్ ఐ త్రీ ప్లస్ ఐ ఫోర్ దట్స్ ఆల్ దట్ ఈస్ ద టోటల్ కరెంట్ ఆర్ యూ ఫాలోయింగ్ సో విచ్ సేస్ దట్ కన్ఫర్మ్స్ దట్ కరెంట్ ఇస్ అ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ స్కేల్ ఆర్ క్వాంటిటీ కరెంట్ ఇస్ అ స్కేల్ ఆర్ క్వాంటిటీ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ నావ్ Uh, let us go for some one or two problems we'll see and then after we'll complete today's session so what is that first one first problem okay what is the current current flowing through a conductor f 1 million electrons 1 million electrons are crossing in 1 millisecond 1 millisecond through a cross section through a cross section okay mm. therefore what is that you are asked to find out the current okay very simple what is uh what is given q is equal to 1 million means what is that the 1 million of electrons of 1 million means 10 power 6 okay the electrons electronic charge what is electronic charge 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb okay therefore this is your uh what is that uh, charge q okay and what is the time uh, time that is equal to 1 millisecond therefore it is 10 power minus 3 seconds 10 power minus 3 seconds therefore what is the current therefore i that is equal to q by t what is q what is that it is 1.6 into 10 power minus 13 divided by 10 power minus 3 therefore that is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 10 yes 10 power minus okay therefore simple just uh, okay therefore this is the current in the circuit okay through see i i just want to tell you one thing here through what is the current in the circuit current is nothing but what is the rate of what is that it is a rate of flow of charge through any cross section of the conductor is there no? uh, that i want to tell you any cross section of the conductor what do you mean by any cross section of the conductor the cross sectional area may be non uniform the conductor is it may have like that also okay therefore the current here will be i it is independent of the uh, cross section and through any cross section of the conductor why because i that is equal to flow of charge per second is there you no know, dq by dt okay that remains the same irrespective of the 
cross section irrespective of the cross section therefore that is why it is in the definition itself very it, uh, it is given what is the current current is the rate of flow of charge uh, through any cross section of a conductor in a definite direction that is very important through any cross section is important it is not a cross section of the wire has to be uniform whatever is a cross section the current will be the same why because it depends what is the number of uh, charge that is uh, what is the flow of charge okay flow of charge per second remains the same whatever is the cross section okay anyhow i thought okay let me move a second question say there is a plot here is high 